सो हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आर चैनल इंट्रो मैक एंड हियर वी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसेप्ट्स सो गाइस वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर न्यू सीरीज रिगार्डिंग द फिक्चर डिजाइनिंग व्हाट आर द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स एंड हाउ वी कैन सिलेक्ट एंड यूज दोस पार्ट्स सो इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ क्लैंपिंग डिवाइसेस एंड दोस क्लैंपिंग डिवाइसेस वर मैकेनिकल now today we will see that how pneumatic clamps can be used for say work holding so today we will see some pneumatic swing clamps and please do watch the video until end and do subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the regular updates regarding our channel so without wasting time let's get started so what are the swing clamps let's first see now here you could see the swing clamps they have a clamping arm then the piston rod piston and the cylinder so essentially this is a pneumatic cylinder with some advanced mechanism in it so that this clamping arm moves simultaneously in say the rotational and the translational motion now let's see how so this is our chog and this is our clamp so you can see over here simultaneously it is rotating and it is moving downward so that it can clamp the job so these are the different kind of applications you can see here you have clamped the job here these are our clamps these are our swing clamps this is our swing clamp so essentially the selection of these clamps depends on your say application how much space you have how much cost you can bear so all the different parameters affect the selection of these clamps so let's see from where you can select these clamps and how you can select these clamps so let's see this is the smc usa site and uh, smc is a manufacturer of pneumatic components you can go and log in to the smc and you can see the huge amount of products it offers so we want swing cylinders so go to the products actuators we have linear actuators guided creepers rotary actuators rotary cylinders clamps so go to the clamps now in clamps you can see different options over here now this uh, is swing clamp cylinder over here so we will go to that section then we have standard cylinders right and this is the window through which you can configure your part so first let's see the series catalog because the catalog is very important and this is the rotary clamp catalog you can read the different uh, things mentioned over here and it is very important to read these things the rotary stroke and the clamping stroke you can see over here because in the catalog it is mentioned the clamping stroke and the rotary stroke that is the angle of clamping right and here there are some uh, the direction also plays an important role that which clamp you are selecting so based on that its clamping and unclamping angle is dependent because it should not foul uh, the projection in your job so you must take care of this thing while selecting the clamp now you have the allowable bending moment that means if you choose very long arm there will be bending so there is the graph that how much maximum uh, say arm length you can choose at what pressure right so you must see these things then the moment of inertia is also given this l length plays an important role then you have the moment of inertia graph you can check out that graph and the moment of inertia calculations they have given because the clamping arm design is also important now these are some cautions that how you should install this clamp because that is also an important thing that in which orientation you are clamping right now this is the rotary clamp cylinder standards that how you can select this is the nomenclature right so it indicates the rotary clamp then we have what is the mounting bracket style then we have the bore size on the base sis of the bore size the clamping force is dependent right the port thread sizes are given then we have the clamping stroke vertical stroke and then we have the clockwise anti clockwise counter clockwise selection right and this is the specification you can see the bore size is the rotary angle you can see 90 degree plus minus 10 and then the clamping stroke and the theoretical clamping forces are mentioned over here 
so this is the theoretical output that is nothing but the clamping force which this cylinder offers you can see the the pressure and the force so this is nothing but a simple pneumatic cylinder so that force we will get if, if we go for a 12 mm bore you will get this much amount of force right but your clamping length is important because it will cause some bending so you will keep in mind the clamping length right so these are the things you can see uh, with clamp the dimensions are given over here right the different uh, parameters are given over here you can purchase these cylinders with uh, say now let's configure it let's take a 25 mm bore the threads are given over here. let's take a stroke of 20 mm the direction let's say clockwise now our selection has uh, completed you can see all the green ticks so you can download the CAD file over here uh, and you can utilize it for the fixing. you can also view the 3d model right before downloading so you can just get the 3d model and all the data from SMC there are so many other things uh, also available and you must read the catalog carefully before selecting uh, the part right so this is about uh, the SMC manufacturer so there are many other kind of manufacturers right so let's take a look of another manufacturer which is Jergens. Jergen also offer, offer law, many kind of work holding solutions so let's see the work holding solutions we have like locating components power clamping and so many other things so this comes under power clamping right we are giving some power this is the pneumatic power right we have swing cylinders over here and in swing cylinder we have swing cylinder arms you can directly get the arms or you can design your own arms also according to your application right and there are some other kind of different um, swing cylinders also available right so bottom flange and here is the maximum output force you can uh, see in pounds given over here then the stroke total stroke is given the uh, stroke in rotation and clamping they have also given the different stroke as i have mentioned there is a simultaneous movement so the stroke is divided in uh, rotation and clamping also you can see the part drawings and you can download uh, the product literature you can get more idea uh, regarding the part right so this is about the uh, clamps right and you can select the different kind of clamps from this let's check out the design and uh, if the force is very high you can go for the hydraulic clamps also the it has given what are the calculations how to design your own hydraulic system because if the forces are higher you can go for the hydraulic clamps right because in a hydraulic uh, clamps we can get higher forces right so in this case the force is given through pneumatic that is the air if you want higher forces you can go for hydraulic in which the fluid will be some oil right so depending on your application depending on your holding force uh, your clamping force requirement you can so i hope you liked the video and you got some idea about the swing cylinders so if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then keep intro making and we will meet in the next session thank you for the patient listening thank you Thank you.